Hi, welcome to Switch Class. In this video, I am going to show you as to how you can uninstall National Instrument Software which is not listed in your Programs and Features. Say I have opened my Programs and Features here to uninstall the National Instrument Software. Unfortunately, it is not listed here to some because of some registry errors or who knows what. I have tried the Revo uninstaller as well. Even in the Revo uninstaller, the National Instruments software is not listed. So I will show you as to a quick method by which you can uninstall the National Instruments software. Run your command prompt as admin. Type It will take some time before it comes up with the list of all the products. So if you see here, I just got a list of all the uh, products that has been installed. So select one of the products which you need to uninstall. See here. choose the Hinnai web pipeline 3.3 .3. so write the following command there is mentioned within your quotes. <coughs> you will be prompted with a message asking you whether you need to uninstall the product. Okay, now you can see a message, a prompt which asks me for confirmation with a yes or no. I will type yes. And it says here method execution successful, which means it has been uninstalled. This is a standard but a tedious and a time consuming procedure by which you have you can uh, uninstall. Uh, the packages or the files which are not listed in your control panel. I'll show you yet another unrecommended procedure using a, a file called MSI Blast. It is not recommended, uh, but it is a faster way to do this. I've enclosed the link for the installation file in the description. Run the MSI Blast. To show you a list of all the packages here. Select all. And click uninstall. For each and every uninstallation, you will be prompted. Now all the installation has been uninstallation has been complete. So run the registry editor, uh, registry cleaner using the CCleaner. This is the one I usually use.
it will ask whether you need to create a backup i suggest you backup no i'm not backing it up but i really suggest you backup your registry before cleaning it now everything is done you can shut down your system and reboot your system to for the changes to take effect thanks for watching i hope it was useful take care bye bye